way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, count for them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like can food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood, I mean I got goals, that's real big, foes, that's real big, you're off too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I gotta do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ah. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job, that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to count for them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two rents they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides.
Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. What is going on, everybody, and welcome for some ECAC Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Action. I am Septilin, joined by the handsome, wonderful, and yes, Ravishing Ravish himself. We're going to be jumping into this in just a couple of minutes, but before we get all those logistics out of the way, Ravish, just tell us how you feeling, man. Good. That's, we love to hear it. We absolutely love to hear it. I'm, I'm hyped to hear it. I'm feeling great as well. I love Smash Ultimate, so I'm stoked to do this. We're going to be having Lime from FTC up against NX. Uh, the true name is Satorin, but their tag on screen is going to be NX, and they are from NYIT. I'm super excited to see this. I don't know anything about any of these players, so I'm going into this completely blind. But this is a usual crew battle style. If, you know, if you've seen that anywhere else, it is the exact same thing happening here. I agree. <laughs> our first map is going to be final destination which makes me think one of these players is bringing out projectiles or uh one of the fighters maybe a ken maybe a ryu and usually you know we can see those on platforms a lot as well but when your opponent has nowhere to run that's really where those characters get to uh, utilize their spites and get really aggressive so i wouldn't be surprised to see a rushdown character like that little mac Oh, don't say don't say his name. You're gonna you're gonna curse us. It's actually gonna be a little Mac. Oh, you're right. You're not wrong though. If we are gonna see a little Mac, FD is probably where we're gonna see him. I mean, this is a stage where like some of the real niches get to make an appearance. Low Mac, maybe a Ridley. If people are really feeling crazy, but I doubt that one. Like I said, one of the I can't think of the word Shonen. I don't think that's the word. But one Shoto. of the fighters. Oh, okay. I was close. Shoto. That's the word. And I was close. It is Kazuya. So that definitely checks out for map choice here. You're correct. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna stop. All right, <laughs> like you said, I, yeah, as you get on into it, bro, this right here is some of my favorite stuff already. Because look, Kazuya versus Samus, I'm a big Samus player myself, and Kazuya is my bread and butter, bro. Tekken is my favorite fighting game of all time. So, as we get not into it, man, it's a, it's just an easy back and forth. So Kazuya wants to get close, Samus does not. So, it should be a yeah. battle of a stage control and seeing how well Samus can do with their spacing. Yeah, I mean, you've hit the nail right on the head. Kazuya, he wants to get in. He wants to rush down. He wants to get hyper-aggressive. And Samus, she wants to do the exact opposite. She is the antithesis of a Kazuya fighter. And now it's going to be really difficult for Lime to keep that spacing and keep that room because all NX is going to do here is just rush down. So we're going to see a lot of projectile usage. We're seeing that already. A lot of side Bs, a lot of neutral Bs, especially that charge B as well. And Lime has found the percentage advantage. But the funny thing about Kazuya, the man hits like a bus. And that's the best part of him, though, because, I mean, I honestly, I understand it, considering he was thrown off a volcano. You want to make sure that you hit hard so your dad can't throw you off a volcano again, too. I don't know if you have felt love on your skin, Zep. It's not a great time. I have it either, but I imagine it's a unpleasant experience as we get on it right away, too. Woohoo! That's the best part of the new, like, uh, of, just, of just entering of Kazuya, too. The fact that you can take off his devil form makes yeah. me genuinely happy and, like, also offers a little bit of that closer and potential burst power. Like that, Lion only at the 41 getting that first stock. Yeah, 41% extra credit already here for NX, but and honestly, if this Samus can continue to really just rake down these projectiles, 41% is not that much, but 61, however, 78, however, those numbers are just going to get higher and higher. NX has got to land something here. The side B, the first to make an appearance, the special B into the neutral B charge move there, racks up 46% against NX, trying to find that neutral B once, or excuse me, that side B once again. Lime doing a great job kind of holding this mid-stage presence, just spamming these projectiles out. It's going to be really important to find this second stock before NX does. I mean, but I'd say Lime already is doing a pretty solid job of it, considering yeah. I, yeah, it, it was a little bit of a rough start, but able to charge up. There we go. There's that neutral. Ooh, -hoo, nice final oh. jump there by NX. Save that on it to 100. We're very much encouraged between both of these characters. 
on a line right now. Just looking for a G. There we go. There's a little bit of that charge up. But on the other end, and next, could you easy to finish this off? One little cool uppercut is all they need. Set. Line just yeah, keeps going. Yeah, you're talking. Oh! That, that, oh! No! The front! Oh, wow. The, Okay. Too much going on there. I totally thought NX had that kill, but unfortunately, Lime gets to live another day. But oh, you do not live through that at 162%. No funny fist quite yet, but NX definitely making an appearance nonetheless. And reminder, folks, every stock is like crucially important in the traditional crew battle. You need you start the next game with as many stocks as you survived with. So if, whichever one of these players wins, I mean, it looks like both of them are going to be starting with one stock in the next matchup. Yeah, considering where we're at right now, yeah, it's 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 one sixty right, right, one sixty five right now for an X. It just it's gonna take just like just one saw a neutral or like maybe even a grab to just send X off the stage though. But okay, look at that so far. Look at that little back and forth though. My man's doing a little bit cute with it, and there, that he survived that. All right, I mean, I guess because there's new really yeah. yeah. It, oh, it's crazy. He's. I feel like he's a little lighter than you think, but also he's a little heavier than you think. He's in a very weird position where his weight does not attribute kind of the similar weight of the fighters like him, the Ryu's, the Ken's, so on and so forth. But Lime, really able to turn the momentum here, found that second stock, looking for the third, taking about 20% damage from the neutral B there. Going to get knocked out, stunned out as well, falling off stage. All right, no two-frame coming out quite yet, but Lime almost just kissed FD goodbye. Oh, might have to do that anyway here, getting knocked to the other side of the stage. And next, man, man, Mama making a comeback after being down a stock so far. He's doing a wonderful job making sure that he can dodge all of life's projectiles. For now, there we go. Oh. Just right on in. That's a lot of damage right if he lands that laser. The line is out, so Donzo, too. And next, playing with a lot. The, the advantage clearly in his favor, but Lion, one solo combo. Good duel, man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that laser, not only is it super strong, but it covers the entire stage. So if you're caught out by it, there's really nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, so on and so forth. And Lime right now up to 180%. Oh, However, no. However, misses the air dodge. Oh, no, no. SDs, the final stock. Very close to turning that around. But when you miss the when you miss the ledge like that, I, I there's really not much that can be done. That was unfortunate. I so. I believe he over uh, overestimated a little bit of their power, and although as much as I like Samus, you're not like DDD, bro. You're not like K. Rule. You're not Kirby, and because uh, the way that you're able to just recover off that stage is a limited placement. So, but hey. Good solid first battle. I'm excited to see what transpires further. Yeah, I, I have to agree, honestly. Very close matchup there. We're down to the final stock on both. Getting close to nearly 100% on the Kazi. I think he was a little shy of 100% when the uh, mm -hmm. event happened. Um, so still has that last stock available. Going to be entering this next match with one stock. I feel like I've said that a lot, but just to really kind of hone that in for those of you at home watching, mm -hmm. because he won the game with one stock, that's all that carries over into the next game. So whoever he's up against is going to have a serious uh, stock advantage. And I remember from last week the when we were watching the games, right? It was, I find it really definitely did carry over, definitely with the overall stock advantage, depending on who was playing. Right. Because you could see that the people that are going up first, the people that were the anchors, the reason they were there. And the battles became just so close that it was surprising to me, especially because we had a Min Min player last week. Oh. Now, Min Min is somebody who gives me flashbacks of Nam. Something that I mostly don't want to go through because uh, it's a terrifying prospect and she hits like an absolute drum truck, which I don't want to be on the business end of. Percy said, but I don't know about you, how you feel about it. But as we say that, though, we are going to load up very, very soon into our next matchup of the day. Remember, like you mentioned, it's a crew battle. So even though one goes out, we still got two more homies to make sure anything can bring him out back. Yeah, and I, I want to see kind of, you mentioned this already, talking about you put the anchor in the front, right? And that's something so many crew battle teams are a bit 
disapproving of, a little bit, little bit mm -hmm. disagreeing on. And so many of them will leave their best player for last, trying to clean up kind of the work that's been put out. But it makes sense, like, kind of like you said, to put the best player in the front. So you move into the rest of the series with as many players and many stocks as possible. So personally, mm -hmm. I'm pro best player first. But I know a lot of teams are, you know, pro best player last. We've got, okay, we've got a full-blown Shoto fight right now. Some people are going to get mad about that. Kazi is not a Shoto. I don't really care. Kazuya up against Terry coming at you in just a minute. Terry is somebody who, a guy that I used to play Smash with a lot, was very, very proficient and very good at Terry. So I'm going to judge Lime a lot based upon how they play. Ah. And as we know, yeah, yeah, NX is the, he mentioned this a lot already. My man's going to go ahead and fall off and there we go. We're now ready to get into this next match. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be Rain representing five towns here up against Satorin again. We saw Satorin go for that double stock take. You know, that's just to get that one stock we talked about already. Lime, I feel like Lime's number one goal here is to not lose a single stock, right? If, if you're able to eliminate this, you can reset the entirety two to two, six to six stocks, so to speak. But if NX is able to take even a single stock off of Lime, which is looking rather likely, that may kind of be the beginning of the end for five towns. And blink and you miss it. Hardly a minute off the clock and that first stock already gone for Lime. That was a very quick right. start, bro. NX got like the immediate electric uppercuts to it. If you're a Tekken player, you know that those ones, one of what, those being number one, they're very hard to land. And two, like if you are able to get them, it's a disgusting amount of damage to start off with. Right. But it seems as though, like you mentioned, Live will be to get the job done, but NX on the other end, still managing to get one stock is on its own. A very solid start. So we got the two Shoto startup. I'm excited to see what Terry goes up against next. Yeah, and we've got to remember that Terry lost Rain, lost that one stock. So now they're going to be in the three stock to two stock kind of matchup. But luckily enough, that's a little easier to turn around than a three to one stock like NX was unfortunately caught with. And that's that's always the funny thing to me about crew battles is that was like a 40 second match, like maybe a 50 second match. But because there's only the one stock to be taken, of course, it really didn't take that long. So we're going to be jumping back into this with a new player on the side of the Cy Bears, mm -hmm. uh, um, New York side. And then depending on how this goes, I believe we reset because if um never mind i don't know what i'm saying either way when one of these teams loses the entirety of their lives i'm pretty sure we reset the whole thing and do it again until one of these teams has won it twice that is indeed correct my friend that's how the bo3 is working they play out right because you got to make sure that you got your two points right so i'm playing rock paper scissors but in that bo3 i whenever i play with my sister i make sure to cheat because I just yell rock before I do scissors. And then suddenly she's all psyched out. At the end of the day, though, although I can't do that here in Smash, you can't see your Samus. And then suddenly see people just die. As much as as much I wish as they could. Because I'm personally a not great Smash player. But fun to nonetheless, though. But as we're talking about going uh, going forward through this entire game here, so with what little that we with what little that we saw out of line for now though. What I am interested to see is how they would likely face it against range character. He saw up against NX, right? They fell very much close to that. Or what caused your range? They got caught up in the grab. So I'm going to need to see a little bit more defensive options coming out of the Terry yeah. because we know that as Terry builds up, builds up that percentage, you know, they can put they can dish out some stupid amounts of damage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you got to get to that KO range to be able to manage your combos here, fam. Carry all those are fair, but a clap closers. And one combo, and then eventually just getting out should be more than enough. But for now, we can only have questions in our head as you load up into a third little skirmish of the night. Yeah, and we're going to be going to my favorite stage in the game. A lot of competitive players have favorite stages as well, even though I'm not a competitive player. I just love Pokemon. So it's going to be PS2 as that stage. I don't know if they gentlemen to it, as a lot of players usually do. I was talking to you guys before we went live, and I always say if you don't gentlemen to PS2 for the beginning of a set, I think you're kind of a psychopath. That's just my own personal opinion, but PS2 is the perfect stage. And I'm really excited to see with a name like Big Mac, the word big makes me think we're going to be seeing DDD, K. Rule, Gen, and, you know, one of the real, the big dogs, so to speak, one of the heavy hitters. But... You know, maybe, maybe it's a bait. Maybe we're going to be seeing, like, Ice Climbers or Olimar or something insane like that. But honestly, the way we're online, I doubt we're going to be seeing anything niche. It's probably just going to be your traditional kind of expectation of online players or characters. I don't know, man. I think if we get something niche, it would just make for just a much more interesting match. Yo, bring Absolutely. back your Lucario. Right. 
go and bring that up. I think that's been a lot of fun. Luke Carter's gotten some buffs. I don't really get to see him, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. Person, you mentioned the Ridley. Oh! And, okay! The Inkling comes out to not super niche, but I haven't seen Inkling a ton over yeah. over the overall, like, this past recent bit of SSB competitive, but this is going to be a fun time. I actually enjoy Inkling very much. Yes, I think we're going to be seeing a very similar style matchup to Kazuya Samus, like we saw earlier, right? This Inkling, they're going to want to kind of keep space a little bit off to the side, where in return, Rain is going to want to get up close and personal. You've got a couple of uh, abilities, the neutral B, the fire, and so on and so forth, to cause some damage from a distance, but instead... Yeah, Big Mac's gonna have to get up close and personal. I love the roller coming through, trying to get some great damage early, but I want to see more neutral B action, putting the paint down onto Rain, because of course, when you get the paint on your opponent, every single hit you do deals more damage. Yeah, so that is the whole point of being able to play those combos with the Inkling. There we go. There's some more paint already being put on so far. My shield, you get the grab bomb. That's, that's my man oh. full paints it up. The good bomb. So that's a stock. Yeah, if you wait, you right. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Rain went for the jump and immediately ate the nade, had no time to recover. The nade knocked them downward, and Terry's recovery kind of garbage. So, yeah, just caught out there. Big Mac, what a way to start a fight here. If Big Mac can get away with finding a stock before losing their first, that'll put NYT in such a phenomenal position. But the odds of that happening, especially at 150 against a Terry, the odds are definitely low. Not great. Right, exactly like you mentioned. And yeah, you're, you're pretty high up as a writer. You would have to play really defensive and just like right give you perfect smash kind of like that we like the bomb get the roller and the outside be oh, oh just barely out of range if they get that the light might be knocked out though but getting that terry percentage at least now we back to two to one yeah I'm gonna be like you said back up to that two to one uh Rain already at over 100%, but that go meter's online now, so Big Mac's got to be double careful. Goes for the roller, but getting a little bit predictable. Lime is going to be able to, you know, Rain, darn it, Rain is going to be able to go and shield that move, kind of keep the momentum, run away from Big Mac, but goes right back into it, misses the bucket here, trying to get hyper aggressive. Rain going to be able to knock Big Mac out of combo. There's a lot of back and forth here. Neither of these players have really found their footing quite yet. No, sir, but victor right now is that lime has no paint on him at all so he's definitely feeling himself and like you mentioned that gold meter is gonna be -hoo 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 a little bit close there too but that's a lot of phrasing put out so far but what we have been able to see is that big Mac has been able to punish like really all of these big moves that lime is going for and to play a little bit more patiently too i'm sure to be able to find like just a solid amount of percentage to get some paint down onto lime considering going for these extravagant plays oh. but they need a lot of space to do it big mac can be a-okay the four not yeah uh, consistently with that like just like oh jump across stage there you go a nice big hit though oh the nade the invincibility frames on ledge are going to be able to keep this terry alive big mac's going to be getting aggressive once again the neutral b comes through the roller hits don't miss your shot this time my friend and it looks like big mac will not do that but will unfortunately be starting with two stocks in the next engagement however NYT, they're only three stocks away from taking the first game. Not bad at all, though. I think, like like you mentioned, it, they got one stock out, so definitely be able to do the deed of, of upon which their team has thrust upon them, right? And considering Inkling was only, only able to get out with only one stock last, though, they definitely went out there. They played it absolute hardest. But one point I would raise before a step that you mentioned is that with with a lot of the players that we've seen is already within, the, within this first couple of lobbies the movements get a little bit predictable right because yeah. you can see them going for the same sort of combos and movesets consistently you saw with the inkling to rush with the paint roller put down the bomb like you know a little bit dash backwards and then put down the paint like and so far just like aside from a couple of different mix-ups here and there it's uh you can see they have a certain move set and a certain combos they're very very comfortable with and if players watching right now are able to read that and adapt, that would yeah. be huge for either team. Yeah, absolutely. I know that's one of my biggest weaknesses as a Smash Ultimate player is I do get a little bit predictable, especially when I'm coming up off of ledge. That's usually when my friends start to learn, oh, he's doing the same thing over and over. So mixing it up is absolutely a difficult thing to do. It's something that a lot of players do struggle with. But like we mentioned already, some of these players are getting a little bit predictable. Big Mac relied on that roller, that side B, a lot. That might be something this next player is going to be able to take advantage of. But even if they can, we've got to remember whoever the final player is for the Cybears right now, or excuse me, for FTC, they have to take five stocks without losing three. 
So that is obviously a pretty difficult thing to do because not only do they have to get through Big Mac, they have to get through whoever the third player is as well. So they really have a tall a tall task ahead of them. I mean, I don't know about you, man. It's like, as I believe we'll be going for Eno game uh, yes. next up, right? So going up for, for five times. Uh, and go back to your point, Seth. So, might be a tall task for you maybe but getting five slots True. is what i do on like a tuesday morning bro i go ahead have my banana and cornflakes put put, put a little bit of uh, brown sugar on that and then you know i just take some kids lives online on smash just immediately just like okay cool who we got next who we got next bro. it's just it's just real simple stuff but that's just me right not everybody can be me i would press that to say i'm built of different materials but hey we'll see what these guys are made out of some of us eat cereal for breakfast. Ravish eats somebody else's stocks for breakfast. I mean, we definitely can't all be doing that, but I'm excited to see which one of these players is going to be eating stocks first. We've got to remember Big Mac, as that crew battle calls for, dictates, does have to get rid of one stock. So they're going to be starting at a, you know, a bit of a disadvantage, but at the same time, they've got a whole player in the back pocket, which the enemy team does not have. So if Big Mac can take this series, even down a stock, I mean, that, that'll give the first point over to New York. What I'm just waiting to see is who they lock in currently, because right now that'll, that'll decide a lot of the matchup. And okay, there we go. We get in that Joker v. Inkling. I find both of them have very similar play songs, but Joker's obviously evolves depending on how things go for him throughout the entire match. So as we head on in, New York Tech right now, although down a stock. We'll see if Big Mac can make that up. Yeah, Big Mac going to be able to go for that re-engage. I'm not surprised to see Eno Gang on the Joker. That is a Wi-Fi favorite. We definitely see him in person as well, but definitely much more popular on the Wi-Fi. Of course, he's a lot harder to react to, and Arsene just feels so much stronger for some reason. Now only 19% on the board, 16% of it was belonging to Eno Gang, but they found a great quick combo onto Big Mac, getting them up to those 30s. Big Mac really struggling just in the speed department here. We see a very quick engagement coming out from Eno Gang over and over, and Big Mac just cannot keep up Inkling. Not exactly known for their speed. And there we go here. My man already got the big guns out right now. Let's see if he can not even get him back up onto the stage though. But we are saying it before, he just said, Big Mac, not really able to deal with a lot of what Lime is bringing out to him right up at the beginning as he was sorry, as Eno Gang. Picking right up at the beginning, right? Getting red pretty handily. Lime still at 52, still doing A-OK. -okay. I see Big Mac can wait out my man's big guns to just make sure that, you know, you can at least get back in that same comfortable range that they like to play in. Yep, there we go, Mop. Okay, Joker now, back to his original self. Yeah, like you said, Joker gonna have that Arsen taken away, and I feel like every time I say it, they lose the stock, but if by some miracle in heaven above, Eno Gang is able to find that first stock, that would be, or to find that last stock without losing one, that would be crucial, because then that would fully reset what we're looking at. But here comes that roller, and yeah, yeah. as I say, the caster curse comes through tried and true. Eno Gang losing that first stock, and Big Mac, danger close to losing their final one. It might be actually, like, considering if Lion plays the first little bit that, uh, uh, sorry, Eno Gang actually plays the first little bit, how uh, they did before thing, should be perfectly fine considering, yep, there we go. So, Big Mac coming up with the same sort of like little bit of a back and forth combo so far plus the paper roll up they don't actually get stuck on the ground for now uh, for now but it is interesting too because lime's taking a bunch of pain right to the face still had one big hit it could be really cool but lime though to keep that space up arsenal oh. almost out doesn't even need him yeah that is going to be the up smash just able to find big mac up above that may have been the up tilt i didn't catch it fast enough but either way you know gang running away with that one able to find that two stock lead i believe so that's going to be a a comfortable spot you're only down by one but again as i was just saying about big mac moments ago you know gang's going to be going into this this final round this point decider with a one stock disadvantage not exactly where you want to end up and the biggest thing about this too is like these matches are close man it's been yeah, back and forth back much. and forth back and forth right one goes out one goes in one goes out so that's what I like to see here between these two schools and just like with many schools that we have here before. Because nobody really like likes to see just like just one player blows out nine different stocks. That's insane. Unless yeah. you're a player, then it's it's just just eating breakfast for you like it is for me. It's as you can see, I have something in Min Min, but that's just my own personal trauma though. But looking at it right now so far with with Jokers in terms of matches that I'm expecting, like I think if you bring it out the show notes, it will be cool. A personal favorite of mine to take into Joker is the Weaver Trainer. I find that she does really well 
And to him, and even before you can get like your arson, she'll be able to KO you depending on that. She can like kill the like 70 or 60, bro. If you, if you get to the combo off, but that's been uh, based on my own personal experience. Yeah, absolutely. I think when you're going up against the Joker, you've got to be careful not to go too projectile based, especially I know that uh, Piranha Plant's Poison Cloud is considered to be one of the worst in the game because it literally farms the entirety of Arsen. It can go from zero to 100 literally in one side B from Piranha Plant. But luckily mm -hmm. enough, uh, Wolf, not exactly known for his projectile gameplay, so I'm curious to see what Jummy is going to be bringing to the table here. Jummy, no. Jummy? I mean, like, you know what? Just, uh, whatever you said, that's okay. I, you know, I, I, I respect it. What I respect, respect more right now is that, yo, as, uh, I, I want to say it's Jimmy. I'm going to say it's Jimmy because it's, his name essentially is just Jimmy Neutron. But Jummy is, is what I'm also hearing from uh from prior too so we'll go with jummy for now but i don't like it <laughs> yeah and jummy already farming in arsen onto eno gang so eno gang starting with a one stock disadvantage but with a damage advantage able to land even just a couple of hits and that'll rack up some insane percentages but arsen disappears as quickly as he makes an appearance already three quarters of the way gone i don't suspect that to change much here 65 percent up against 88 this could be this would be such a close game where they're not that aggressive one stock disadvantage and that's a big thing about Wolf, though, right? Because compared Woo! to <laughs> yeah, compared to their counterparts, fuck on Fox, bro, their side smashes and just their overall smashes in general to hit a lot harder and can kill at ranges just like that 70, 80. So, Jummy New Turn feel himself right now too long. Only got one stock left to go fighting for New York Tech. Yeah, fighting for New York Tech with their life already. 90% to another Arsen, but that Arsen's going to have to take three stocks, which is a Herculean task to say the very least. New York Tech, I, I would be comfortable saying they've probably got this one in the bag unless Eno Gang has some tricks up their sleeve that we have not seen quite yet. I mean, if they do, now would be the time to bring it out. Set, but it's uh, uh, okay. So that's one. They already had a good solid bit of percentage built up, but they have 75. And up against the Wolf, I would be scared. Personally, if they, yet again, if they land one little good little side smash, maybe even up smash, maybe even, even up tail, bro, might just kill. Because uh, Joker isn't known to be just the heaviest guy, you know, even with Arsen, right? Would be, yeah. would be a tough time. Yeah, I'm going to be really curious to see what the aggression from kind of Inu Gang is going to choose to go here. Is it going to be that just slow paced projectile advantage is to give you that rush down, try to find those quick jabs, maybe just that neutral jab as well. But 130%, I'm not sure you're even going to take enough damage to get another R set without also being sent into the stratosphere. Jummy is going to have 65%, but still a two stock advantage. And okay, Ooh. not an SD. I was a little scared, but it is Joker. It can recover from the depths of defeat. Speaking of the depths of defeat, I think we are looking straight at him. Eno Gang 150%. And my man just waiting for the recovery time that beautifully. And that is going to be New York Tech. Being able to take the first point in this B03. The question is going to be, how does five times respond to this, right? Do we see a change of a character? They're not likely all pretty familiar with each other's play styles, right? And it's like we're saying, it's a, it's a I would to see a full series on our hands, but or now, I think we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw at the very beginning there, especially those games were being separated by 30, 40%. So definitely things could have turned at any point, except maybe that last game that really did feel to be in favor of New York. But the other two, the other four leading up to it truly did feel like they could have gone either way. So I think realistically, if FTC can come out just a little bit hotter, hit just a little bit harder, they may be able to take game two here and force a game three. But as a reminder, if New York wins this one, that's all we've got for you tonight. It could be over before it even begins here for FTC. Mm hmm The possibilities exist in hand. Like I said before here, man, that's B03, like, like the unforgivable. But one thing that could also happen, too, is a change in order, too, just to make yes. sure that if they decide that maybe they want to you know, have their anchor go up first just to make sure they're not giving up too many of those early stocks or maybe they got the weakest going up first and then two more players decided, okay, New changes up, we're going to surprise them, and we go bring it home. Anything can happen as of right now, but we'll just have to wait and see, sir. So. Yeah, Ravish, I think you've hit the nail right on the head. I'm, I'm curious if it's going to be 
starting with the Joker, starting with you know, starting with somebody else. The rotations come. I remember one of the teams had like five players they could choose from. I think their roster was a full five, and I believe that is FTC. So we only mm-hmm. saw three of the five listed, and it looks like Cybers have four. So I think we could be seeing a couple other players as well, just coming in and out. Maybe especially from New York because they know they've got the one point advantage. You know what's actually interesting about this too is like I always kind of compare this type of style of the whole crew battle to you is I'm if I'm looking at uh, MVC were you, were you big uh, MVC player sap or not? I, I considering I don't know what MVC stands for I don't think so, I was. I'll go ahead and explain it to you. So that's Marvel vs. Capcom is what it is. Oh, is, okay, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like you know, of course, as you know, in Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Standard play style, especially before Infinite, which is bad by the way it's a bad game don't play that uh but you were able to you know of course like uh, a CW team based upon a couple of projectiles fast-paced people right at the beginning right mid middle players you're like depending on the player style you you get to pick anywhere from like strong like magic dudes to like even just like really big combo rushers to finally you had your heavies at the end your hawks your wolverines your whoever you wanted right so that's what I imagine this overall crew battle was. Yeah, At the beginning, absolutely. you got your overall combo breakers, middle, whoever you want. At the final, you got to make sure you you, you got to go ahead and have your big boys to, to bring yeah. it on home. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I was always a bit more of an MK guy growing up. I played that competitively for a little while. So the momentum, the oh. tempo in there, a lot different than kind of what you were just describing there as well. That's the type of game where you hit your opponent and you make sure they never get the chance to hit you back. You combo them into oblivion. But mm-hmm. that's definitely going to be a little bit different than uh, what we usually see in Smash Ultimate. And I as well, uh, a huge Rivals fan, ROA. I love that game as well. I think that's a super fun one. And that fits a little bit more in kind of the momentum, the tempo you were talking about. While there's never really a squad strike opportunity, it's definitely in the momentum of wanting to play the same way you would play in Smash, going for those heavy hits early, trying to find some stock advantages, some just aggression at the start, rather than waiting out for the long game. And it looks like we are going to be seeing a little bit of a change from Five Towns, NYT. They're going to be sticking tried and true. We're going to have Satorin start it over all over again, so I expect to see that Kazuya. But Eno Gang will be the starter for Five Towns this time. That's going to be interesting, right? Considering we saw Eno Gang like right near the end to, I believe... I believe they were the, uh, oh my God, yo, remind me here, bro. I'm, I'm almost sure they played Inkling, I believe right? Eno Gang was the Joker? No, no, Jummy was the Joker, so Eno Gang was the Inkling, I believe. Yeah, okay, so I was right, I was right on that. No, Ooh. it was Joker. Oh. I don't know. I, Eno Gang was a player, Ravish, that much I'm sure of. And, but if we think about it, are we all players in this game called Life Set? Oh, that was beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> Truly, I'm, I'm going to shed a tear on the broadcast. <laughs> and while you're over there crying in the corner, let's head on into our next series in this BO3. It's in New yeah. York Tech and Five Towns. We're going to be jumping into Smashville here. This is the most entertaining one because nobody has to give up a stock in the beginning. We've got a full-blown 3v3. This is probably as close as it's going to be able to get. But NX starting strong here on the Terry. Able to find 100% before I can even finish my first sentence there. Arsene already fully charged, but Terry, he stares a death in the face, and he laughs. Looking for that first stock elimination here. NYT, they're coming in confident, right? They won that last series. They're looking to win this one as well. However, NX, maybe a little bit too much hubris there, has not been able to find the room to engage in... Oh, that's... That's gonna hurt. A little bit unfortunate there to go and start it off at, right off the back of it, the butt. Like you mentioned, we actually didn't get to see a ton out of this Terry, considering... How uh, fast the previous match was before, but so turn right out. There we go. There's that classic Terry combo. Doesn't put up a ton of damage before now, but considering it's up against line 137, nice little smash should be able to knock them right out of the park, but they got to just control their space and not let them recover. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Yeah, that's definitely going to be great because NX had such a momentum lead there at the beginning. Really was controlling the pace and the tempo of the fight. Some great micro spacing as well. The combos made the appearance when they needed to. And it really felt like Eno Gang didn't have anywhere to go, so to speak. But now we see that that has been changed up a little bit. Eno Gang found that first stock and found the momentum with it. Has NX back up to 80%. Saw stuff as of right now, too. But we're seeing these two. It's a little bit close. Instead of near attack, it's a. They're playing a little bit defensively, which actually I, I kind of like this over. Change it. 
Oh, the mob matter cover so far. Lime. Okay, there we go. All the way back up on the stage. I have the arson for much longer now. I would like to see them build up a little bit more percentage just to make sure that if they're back to the original form, does it get too tough for the both to play the space again beautifully? But oh, my man, time that last goal. Oh, that was that was impeccable timing there. Frame perfect, even I might say. Just a great turnaround from Eno Gang. What did we talk about, Revis, during that little break between sets? We talked about how every game was like one stock difference, and if Five Towns ever found their footing, ever found their momentum, NYT might be shaking in their boots, and it looks like Five Towns has done just that. Eno Gang taking the second stock before losing their own, might even be able to find the third at this rate. Looking very good here on Smashville. Oh yes, sir. Close. Can these two bad as you keep mentioning the right now? NX are they six yet in the oh. first stock? Oh, well, Lime might be able to take this considering, but between these two, though, if Mama NX is, is able to get that mm. stock, and as I say that, then they would have done their job a okay. But right now, Five Times has a job to do. They got to make sure they want to bring five. They, they want to bring, you know, uh, uh, if they want to bring the, their team back into it, it should be the stock to take this. So we need to close it out. But Satorin, if he can get this too, this would be a huge dub for New York Tech. Oh, no way. Ooh. Had a great... Ooh. No way! <gasps> oh. Eno Gang's biggest mistake was getting Satorin over 100%. And that sounds so crazy. That sounds so weird. Because Smash is all about getting your opponent to the highest percent possible. But when that go meter makes an appearance, my goodness, I just... That just a bit Eno Gang in the but ouch that uh you know i was mentioning how if they're able to take that stock would be a huge like service to their team fam i didn't mean it like that i wanted both sides to be equal but yo chill it was, we was he talked about before about how man i only get to see much of the terry but this coming out in full swing and we get to see it now in two different matches so suddenly this trainer looking to turn on up. Oh, I'm hype. Yeah. Well, I mean, what a hype way to end a set. That was just great turnaround. Now, unfortunately, you're down all the way to a single stock. But we saw what this exact Terry did. Or maybe it was the Kazuya. But either way, we've seen what can be done with a single stock. Two stocks were taken by them before losing one of their own. And now, I mean, if FTC can win this, they can take the one stock without losing any. That'll be great. That gives us a full-blown series reset. But... We're going to have to see what is brought to the table here because one stock, I mean, one stock can make all the difference. We've seen that happen so many times already. That is the beauty of things, especially within Smash 2, right? If you can play your cards right, if you can make sure to get your spacing right, if you can, that was frame perfect moves. And suddenly, the world falls right into your hands and it looks just so gosh darn cool. Which is what yeah, you want, that right? Is... Considering with these super duper high matchups, as we're about to head on in New York Tech with the overall stock advantage. We'll see if the Violet can sting things up. I like this matchup a lot for the Violet. Yeah, I mean, taking a page out of every every everybody's favorite pro player's book here. I mean, uh, Violet not a surprisingly not a super often chosen character, but now we're going to be making an appearance here online. We see NX has to go for that double stock take, so going to be in a 3v1 scenario. Luckily enough, does not SD the third stock, and I, I love the uh, neutral taunt from both of them. That's kind of the green light there. As they both taunt. They're ready to go, and it's going to come down to Rain, making a different appearance. Rain was on Samus last time, I believe. I'm not positive on that, but either way, definitely a new character. We've not seen Violet yet until right now. I want to say they were too, because that's make that's that's what makes the most sense to me. Considering we saw nine different, well, six different characters, who knows what could happen? But yeah, I was about to say, does my man get that, bro? Just based off just a little. Oh! That was oh. some nice trigger try. That was some nice trigonometry there, Seth. It was, Ravish. I think I think you're spot on, man. That was just a beautiful turnaround there. Able to find a great kill off the back of it. And now, NX has already made this whole stock worth it. They were able to find one of their own. Looking for two here. Able to find a great combo, but not even close to the kill percent yet. Rain up to 60. Gets oh. able to find the catch. Now, this is the mistake that we saw this uh, the Joker make last game. Terry, he's over 100%. What difference is that going to make here for this engagement? Might not be much if Rain is able to continue spacing them out like this. Nope. Jeez. No oh way. man, is that okay? Not the stock take yet, but darn tootin' close. If NX can find this second stock, I, I, I hate to say it, but it's gonna be really difficult for Five Towns to turn this around. 
I mean, I don't want to kind of be out just yet that we were saying before. The NX previously was going for these super big frame plays, but... Woo! Early man's there on the recovery, too. They get out of line. All that damage, and they get oh, the stock, no. bro. Live, they got to play that spacing. Because considering when you were the violet, right? That's why you end this matchup. But there we go. The final hit with that side smash. But Satori, my man did his rookie. He got two stocks out of this matchup as well. New York Tech are looking beautiful. Yeah, I mean, not only did he take two stocks with only one, but he took three stocks before that. So five stocks in total from Satorin. When there's only nine available to take. That just eating him up. That is ravish every Tuesday morning right there. Just eating up stocks left, right, and center. And, I mean, Satorin, taking a page out of your book there, Ravish. Cornflakes, banana, sugar, stocks. A start to a fantastic morning, which I'm sure that Satorin understands wonderfully. Which, yo, Seth, I'm going to judge you Will Harford's. What's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal, personally, <sighs> Fruity Pebbles, final answer. That's weird. I don't like that answer. Hey, right. It's the truth, man. I'm a weird guy. I can't help it. I love I love pure sugar. That's all I need to get my day started. I mean, I understand because mine is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So. Oh, I have that on my fridge right now, Ravish. So that is a great no. answer. That is a huge you know chef, why it's chef's the best? You know why it's the best here, bro? Because not only do those Cinnamon Toast Crunches taste wonderful, but when you're True. done with it, the milk tastes extra special, which is That's what facts. I live for. Because milk is delicious, and it, uh, with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar, it is even better, though. You know what's even better than that? Is we get into this next matchup here, fam. It's going to be Big Mac again, and I wonder, is that going to be Inkling again? We're going to see Inkling versus Byleth. Maybe they go back to the Samus. I, I don't know if they're allowed to do that. I think they're allowed to change if they live into the next game. No, they're not. I'm wrong. Thank you, Prod. They're not allowed to do that, so it will be Byleth. Byleth versus perhaps an Inkling. We haven't seen anything else from Big Mac yet. I really want to know what's going to be brought to the table here because that's what is going to kind of determine this. We see that this Byleth already down to one stock, and I mean... Like you said already, New York, they're, they're looking clean with it. They are looking good. Yes, yeah, sir. Actually, which I believe at the last second here, because uh, Lime decides to go ahead and bring it back on in. And yep, like you like you mentioned right away, a little side switch on the back end of it. And it is going to be that inkling versus the bonnet, which from what I've seen, a little bit of similar place between these two characters. But we've seen this inkling before. And I find that at certain times throughout this entire game, right, Big Mac has fallen into very certain comfortable patterns yep. based on how they play. So Rain, they've seen them, they've seen them play before, so they can just read that well. Then five times is not out of it yet. Yeah, I think the only hope here is that Big Mac can find the first stock before Rain picks up on the pattern, right? That that's your only objective is to kill them quick so they don't kind of realize or analyze the pattern you're bringing to the table. I know that Big Mac relies a lot on those nades, but so does every other inkling player in the world. So that's not worried about being predictable. It's more about using the roller when you're a little bit too close, rolling up off of ledge. The great nade once again catches out, but instead it's Rain who powers through it, super armors through, does not get caught out by that nade yet. And Big Mac already losing that first stock, only able to deal 30%. Yeah, Big Mac too was like really super close. Cool. Took a lot of really big poke damage too. And like we mentioned it talking about it before a little bit. But just punishing all the big hits to a lot of the big frame plays. If you yeah. can't move in for that kill shot on the back of it, then you're kind of just letting your, letting your opponent have free space. And you're free in your head. My man, just no. He puts you out there at the wrong time. But for now, it's still quite close. And I believe Big Mac has a good chance to get back into it. It's going to be about landing one solid hit, a little bit more paint oh. on terrain, and that might, that, that might do them in that bar. We see that kill before, but they'll stay alive for now. Yeah, it will stay alive, and Big Mac taking a lot of damage, but luckily enough, the damage doesn't matter as long as you keep the stock. Has rain up to 120%. A lot of great projectile usage from rain, forcing Big Mac to rotate around, Ooh. above, and below, but... Can I rotate fast enough to get away from the paint bucket there? Rain will fall. Big Mac only losing one stock, so going into the next game at a one stock disadvantage. I think, honestly, you know what? Rain, they tried. They honestly definitely played their heart out, and they at least got one stock of it, right? So you're not like leaving your team completely out to dry. But for five towns, this is their final player. This is their lifeline. Yeah. This is their this anchor. This is it. And it's going to be the Kazuya player, too. So. 
If we see my man just come on in, like, bring out the big guns, which you know who you will. We saw what the Kazuya could do before. He was very, very well worse on the job. Uh, very well, 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 well worse on the character, I should say. Sorry. So I'm I'm all for hoping. I'm all for the underdog story. And I'm all for seeing if Bob Towns can make a big comeback. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is there's a Herculean task ahead of them, pushing a boulder to the top of the hill. Five stocks versus the three that are left available. It's going to be really difficult, but it's certainly not impossible. Some of these players kind of, what I always say, unlock their sixth chakra, kind of bring their 110%, kind of just go Super Saiyan, however you want to put it. If they really kind of hone in, they lock in, they play their absolute best, it is 100% possible to see that five stock come back. Now, is it likely? That's the question. Unfortunately, four or five towns, probably not. Sadly, no. It's a, but remember, those five stocks, right? That's what we eat for breakfast here, baby. That's what we want to be able to be chewing on, and we know what these teams have been able to do before. That's, That's also the, what Satorian was able to take. Satorian mm -hmm. walked away with five stocks, exactly. so we've seen it happen already. See, that's the biggest thing. So I say, so I, I'm a person who asks not why, except I say why not, you know? Absolutely. Now, I don't say poor, I say poor quoi. I'm not sure if that's like a full thing for why not in French, but... Poor, poor K? Oh, you're, you're speaking <laughs> French. I was speaking Spanish. Okay. I was like, why do you say K like that? That was weird. Different but language. Why? That's that's probably yeah, why. Yeah, you're so close. It's like, it's, it's, uh, I don't say, you know, you know, you know, like, I don't say Nani. I say, why? It's, y'all get the <laughs> point, bro. <laughs> the idea is there. That's what matters. The idea mm -hmm. of the, the information is there. Y'all bro. I'm, say, I'm saying this, but I'm not saying that. So... But what I should be saying right now is both these teams I have matches are about to load into in just a couple of sec owns. Uh, with New York Tech looking to take it home 2-0. If they're able to do so with his with the final last of the stock, but I wanted to go with the final characters, which I'm sure it might. As a, I believe we might be okay with right, right about it. Ooh. Okay, let's go, baby. The sets. So, so we were wrong. That was not the Samus player on the Byleth earlier, unless two of them have a pocket Samus, but that feels that feels unlikely to me. I don't know if that feels unlikely to you, but this must be our true Lime. They've been playing on the account the entire time, but I think this is actually Lime making an appearance. So now it's going to be that Samus versus the Inkling. Now, Ravish, the interesting thing about this is it is going to be full-blown projectile city. Oh, there was an incident there, though. Big Mac did not take that first stock like they were supposed to, so now they have to wait for the paint to dry off before anybody engages. I hope Big Mac remembers they're supposed to take a stock off of themselves. Yeah, I don't know if they if they remember. They're both just kind of waiting around, just running down this time, bro. It's like, Big, big, big Mac, uh, yo, can we get comms on, on five oh, here times? We go. Oh, here we there go. There we go. Okay. My man finally remembered. Ah, ha, ha. And now we can get back into it. Yeah, Woo! so now it's showtime. Uh, hopefully Lime doesn't SD again. Um, is this a button check? They're, they're going to reset. I, I think yeah, they okay. might be resetting, yeah. We're going we're for a full-blown reset. Resetting. Yeah, which, you know what? I respect it. That's Absolutely. fine. That's okay. You want to make sure that nothing impedes your ability to play the game. A little bit of mishap, a little bit of miscommunication, just like I was doing with my four different languages that I just spoke then. That's okay. I get it. Y'all get it. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, and that's you know that's kind of the tough thing about crew battles, right? Is as an inkling player, I'm sure that was such muscle memory for Big Mac. As soon as it hits go, you hold that neutral B, you cover them in paint. So they probably just did it out of competitive habit. And then they were probably like, oh, like I was I was supposed to take a stock first. So I'm glad we're just gonna see a quick reset. We're gonna jump right back into things. I think it was Smashville. I don't even remember. It might have been Town and City. I saw it for like it 10 was, seconds. It was it was indeed Smashville, my friend. Uh, which I mean, that's just what I'm gonna say. But hey. You're a smarter guy. We both have glasses, but yours True. look like they're more just put on for designer. Like you, the type of guy uh, who used to go get the 3D glasses and to put them on when you were younger, weren't you? No, they are real glasses. I'm actually blind as a bat without them. Full disclosure, <laughs> they, they are very real. I always say they're basically a prop because I'm blind with them too. I'm sitting like six inches from my monitor right now. But the real question is, is that did you? Get 3D glasses from the cinema and put them on to pretend like you It was glasses. one time, Ravish. I don't know. I don't know how you found that out. I don't know how you got that information, but it was one time. Okay, it was one, I did it once. But it looks like once we get one time so far, live not gonna get taken now, but might get one stock taken out of right away. Big Mac 
not even letting him touch the stage. All that paint on him. My man gonna need a little suit change if he doesn't want to let him affect, like, affect the machinery. But one, bring it on back to putting up a lot of solid damage. Ooh, I'll be back in the map in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, so the scary thing here, the, the terrifying thing, so to speak, is that Lime is at 200%. Five Towns only has three stocks left. Like, that's it. So, Lime, the idea of getting five stocks when you're almost, when you lose your first one less than a minute into the match, that is, that's definitely going to hurt the chances. Like we said, though, it was already pretty unlikely. We don't necessarily expect to see it happen, but Lime does trade out that second stock of Big Mac. So, BM down to one, Lime down to two, full blown 0% across the board. Yes, sir, exactly like you mentioned, but for now, though, everybody gonna be a-okay, right? Live starting it off real big, too, but Big Mac, they've got a fair amount of work ahead of them if they want to be able to carry this home for now, but Lime as well, if they can carry these two stocks into the next matchup, they have they have done their job, they were done a service to their team, and they still have a very solid percentage of making sure we go for the full three matches, though, and they might be looking to do just that. Big Mac right now, 113. It's a very, very tough match. They got to play this oh! one safer. The side B. Oh, but that doesn't kill. The Diallo, is he going to come through? Can he recover? He's fine. And I don't think I've... Back on the stage, he covers. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a cross-stage roller actually connect like that. That was that was crazy, but Lime does walk away with the stock, and Lime had two stocks left, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. two stocks left, only a one-stock disadvantage going into this final matchup. Th this could be the chance that Five Towns needed to survive. This is big right here, Seth. Lime right now play that beautiful anchor in. Ankling definitely, too. We're saying... All these players have been playing their hard out, but like, yet again, at the beginning, right, a lot of the combos that they depend upon became a little bit very readable. Okay, he comes in, a little bit of paint, roller, side step, right? And then a little bit of side beat, and maybe the bomb. And with that consistency, right, all Samus has to do, dodge back, jump, rocky, then boom, shock, lock, we suddenly in this final match. And while IT fighting for the win, five towns fighting for survival. Yeah, fighting, fighting for survival indeed, but I believe it's going to be Jummy against Lime here. So this is going to be two powerhouses, the Wolf V, probably Samus from Lime. I'm really curious to see if that's going to be what's happening, but Jummy jumps into the spectator stance. I think that was a misclick. Hopefully they're not going to spectate their own match. That would be just a little weird. No, nah, I mean, they, they they should be okay between the two, right? It should be should be fine considering it's just maybe maybe my man wanted to just like change things up a little bit deciding hey hey i don't want to play just yet let me because uh, let me just take some time to breathe because i don't know about you in tense situations like these i personally like to do at least like a little bit of uh uh deep breaths so yes. i can so i can call upon myself who i am as a person what i enjoy that my cinnamon toast crunch with the most superior cereal on the planet but that's person just me as i did just hear that after all the map bands came through, we're going to FD. Yeah, jump into FD. Final Destination is going to be making an interesting choice here. A Wolf, I think, is going to struggle a little bit more than a Samus. Now, Samus would definitely want the platforms for her kind of running around, being a general nuisance situation, but at the same time, mm -hmm. they inhibit what Samus tries to do because the opponent can use the platforms and dodge the projectiles. So it's going to come down to how many projectiles Lime really wants to utilize. And I feel like, honestly, for a Samus player, Lime hasn't been utilizing enough. We saw a lot of great projectile action in the first set from Lime, you know, nearly an hour ago. But that last one, that felt like a lot of uh, lucky hits, so to speak. So I think stepping it up, hitting that B button a little bit more could work wonders for Lime. Considering all I do is hit that B button here, Sap, I would appreciate to see a little bit more of it, too. If I am on my GameCube controller, which I usually am, I am pressing that thing like it owes me money. As, there we go, we get that little reset. As, Jummy Lime, going in. Yeah, this is going to be that one stock advantage, of course, for NYT. And Jummy just needs to find two stocks to take it home. A 2-0 victory for NYT. It's all going to come down to that, and it looks like Lime, you know, had that same idea, using a lot more projectiles already. Unfortunately, not enough as Jummy goes in for the double grab, misses both of them, gets caught out by that neutral B catch, gets able to find a neutral B of their own. Jummy really racking up the damage, almost 100% already. Not able to find it with that charge move, though. 
A laser gonna line things up, give Jimmy the opportunity to engage, to approach a little bit. Catches out that side B with the reflect. Doesn't reflect it quite back though, but does not take the damage either. This is looking really good for NYT so far. Jimmy, right now we see a line at 130, bro. Like a little bit of good neutral, a grab even. And when he send them over the edge, NYT definitely feeling themselves as he can take victory right in front of them. But five times doesn't want to let them have it that easy. 160. Oh, there wow. we go. Good combo with the neutrals. One stock left, Seth. Yeah, one stock is all five towns has left here tonight at the ECAC Smash Bros crew battle. And hopefully Lime doesn't SD this time. We did see that happen the first time they made an appearance on screen tonight. Like I said, we're really hoping to not see that happen a second time. Mm -hmm. Jummy. Oh, that's three stocks. I, I'm really not sure what Lime could do to turn this series around. It would be really, really tough. Like you keep mentioning a Herculean effort. My man gonna have to climb Everest back in and maybe go up to halfway point yet again. If he wants to continue this forward. But I believe considering where he's at, yeah, beautiful frame time in there too. And managed to get one stock out of it. One step closer, only at 44. So not in too bad of a position. If they can get one more stock out of this and they'll only be at maybe just about 60 to 70, they're going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, and as I or, say that, oh, or, T. <laughs> Ravish mid-sentence saying A-OK. -okay. Lime getting spiked into absolute oblivion right there. That was... Honestly, I was totally agreeing with you. I was thinking, you take that stock 60%, 70%. It's going to be tough, but it's totally doable. I forgot that Wolf spikes like that at like 35%. So that was just... The little bow was already put on top, and we had absolutely no idea. That was, that was a very strong play from NYT. Unfortunato, but hey, beautiful stuff from both ends. NYT taking that 2-0. Showing up today to the close battles across the board five times. Good luck to y'all. Hope you're able to go back to driving board a little bit and come back with some, some more mix-ups and maybe even some more heart because that's all we need in Absolutely. these games. Absolutely. And, folks, believe it or not, that 2-0 does bring tonight to a close. I know it's crazy, just a little bit shy of an hour, but we love you all very much. Ravish, we, I'm sure I can speak for him and I both. We love you all very much. Huge shout-out to Colton in the back line for putting everything together, all these wonderful graphics around and transitions, everything you see. That's all him in the back line. So thank you, Five Cities and NYT, for coming out. Check your posture, drink some water, don't forget to love each other, and we'll see you guys next week. But till then, enjoy the rest of your night. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Say trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything, literally everything. Jeez. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, counting them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like can food, try and tell me what I can't do, I want to see the world, my vision on share mood, I mean I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big, your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big, coming into the ring with blows that's real big, I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? 
I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, as soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like can food, try and tell me what I can't do, I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood, I mean I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big, you're off too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I gotta do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. <laughs> 